Hello and welcome back to another Black Myth Wukong quest guide. In this video we have two final quests to go over in chapter 2 called the Boar Quest and the Old Rattle Drum Quest. Completing these are needed for several trophies as well as unique items like the legendary Wind Tamer Vessel, the Insect Armor Set and Plague Bane Gourd, all of which you can easily miss, plus a bunch of other things needed for crafting and so on. So let's jump into it and we'll start with the first one, the Boar Quest. The quest starts in the Fright Cliff Rockrest flat section of Chapter 2. You can head straight from the shrine until you come to a boar who needs your help sobering up. Now there are two ways you can help the boar and that is to find a sobering stone there is one in the Yellow Wind Formation Windrest Bridge section. We will walk past there later in the video. There should be a golden barrel in the town with one inside. However, to save time, I'm just going to buy one from the man in the rock who is a vendor. If you've completed the quest for him, I showed you in my previous video going over Zhu Dog. The price is a bit steep, but it saves some time. Return to the boar and give him the stone. After talking, make your way to the Crouch and Tiger Temple and find the boar again and give him one Jade Lotus. You can buy it from the Shrine Store if you don't have one. Exhaust all the dialogue with the boar until he repeats the same line. Oh, this putrid rat meat is insufferable. <sighs> Next, head to the boar's original location and you will find the boar's brother, the Yellow Robed Squire. Defeat him, and you can reach the secret location of the Kingdom of Sahi. Here at the entrance of the kingdom you can find another boss fight to kill the Tiger Vanguard, the second version of him. <laughs> Lastly, enter the kingdom. Don't forget to open the chests here and get the meditation point. And after this you can talk with the NPC on the cliff and fight the final boss. The final boss is a giant beetle called Fuban. It's a fun sequence and fight so it's not too tough though. And after you've done this you will get the wind tamer vessel and head to the shrine to craft the insect armor pieces as well. You also get a trophy for doing this quest. Let's move on to the second quest called the Old Rattle Drum. The quest starts in the Yellow Wind Formation Windrest Hamlet. This location is reached by climbing up the Crouch and Tiger Shrine and heading down the other side. Not inside the mouth where the blood drains, but down the other side of the shrine. If you walk all the way through the village, you come to the Windrest Hamlet and fight the Tiger's Acolyte on a bridge. Once he is defeated, he drops the old rattle drum, and you need to use it in three different locations. First, at the yellow wind formation, wind seal gate, take the path left of the altar, keep walking all the way up until you cross the bridge and turn left to an area that looks like some ruins of a house. The screen will turn grey colour, and you can interact with the environment to use the old rattle drum and defeat the withered corpses. I'm 
Next, return to the Windrest Hamlet and head down the hill back into the small village area, take a left and it will turn grey a second time, repeat the steps and defeat the enemies. Lastly, return to the Sandgate Village entrance and enter the arena where you fought the Earth Wolf. Head left into a small area to get the third grey screen, and you can use the Rattle Drum. Once you've done that, this will unlock a well that you can jump down into and fight the mad tiger boss. After he's defeated, he drops some stuff, I'm not sure if it's useful for anything yet, but in the cave where you fight him, you will find the Plague Bane Gourd. Guys, that's it for this video, two final quests of chapter 2, and if you followed my guides, you won't have missed any of the secret missions or locations in this part of the game. If you want to see more, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.